What is up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? My name is Richard, otherwise known as Moonsaber, and welcome to the very first episode of the very first Let's Play of this channel of StarCraft 2. Yep, after many days of figuring out if I wanted to do this or not, I decided to go ahead and give it a try. And I hope you all enjoy what I have to bring and have a good time all around. If you do, then I appreciate any comments, feedback, suggestions, or anything I can do to help make this experience a bit more enjoyable. So for this Let's Play, we're going to go through all three campaigns, including the bonus missions. Starting with Wings of Liberty, then Heart of the Swarm, Legacy of the Void, and finally going through Nova Cobra Ops. We're going to start things off on the Wings of Liberty, and we're going to be playing through all of these on normal difficulty. I know a lot of you have probably seen more high-level experience play, but I'm not that kind of person. I'm just here to bring you guys a good, bring you all a good time, and hope that's all good for you. I'm going to go ahead and start a new campaign on normal difficulty, and let's get started. about time. 
It's about time indeed. Marsara, French World Dominion Space Corporal Sector, recolonized 2502. ready yet. Your forces are prepared and awaiting your orders, Commander. Uploading tactical data now. Good. About time we kick this revolution into overdrive. Backwater Station is the center of Dominion Logistics on Nosara. Destroying Dominion Authority here will cripple Emperor Meng's operations throughout the planet. Alrighty, so... We're going to get started on the first mission, Liberation Day. Mission objective will be to destroy the Dominion Outpost. And we'll get access to our first un first new unit of the game, a Marine. A general purpose infantry that can attack ground and air units. So over this let's play. No, nope. sorry. Dominion forces have set up a logistics headquarters in the town of Backwater Station. This has become the hub for all operations on Marsara. The Dominion recently pulled troops out of the city, and they are now under strength. Are the locals cooperating? The people of Backwater Station are known to be anti-Dominion, but they lack weapons and organization. If I can take that headquarters away from Mengs, it'll cripple him on this planet. Prep my ship. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> All right, boys. Let's show the locals they don't need to fear the Dominion. So this is a good tutorial level. We get access to five Marines and Rainer himself. Yeah, go away. So this is going to tell us about how to move units, how to move the camera, and how to attack. And I can go over that pretty well myself. So. Keep your intervals wide, your eyes open, and your ass is covered. Let's move. You can move the camera by panning around on the edge of the screen. Or you can select specific spots on the minimap to jump to that spot. You can left click a unit to select it, and right click it to move. You can... Hold down the left mouse button to drag a box and grab all units and then be able to right click to move them all. A faster way, and this was a faster way to do it, is to hit F2 and you can select all of your active military units. So we have Marines and we have Rainer. Now Marines are your basic infantry units, uh, cheap to make. And with some good, with 6 damage, 5 range, 0.86 weapon speed, and can target air and ground. No armor, but 2.25 movement speed. Then we've got Rainer himself, who's much stronger than the regular troops, who's got 12 damage with 6 range, 0.86 weapon speed, with targets air and ground, and 2 armor, plus 2.5, 2.25 movement speed. What's up? So our objective is to destroy the logistics headquarters. And Rainer has to survive. After all, if he dies, it's bad for his reputation. Time to man up. 
Raiders roll. George is going to go ahead and get on. This first part is sort of just getting you used to moving the camera and moving troops around. Sounds like a plan. Don't go up that road. Raiders roll. Well, we got to go up that road because that's where our objective is. You can count on me. Sounds like a plan. Our first firefight. So you can do an attack move by holding by pressing the A button and then left clicking on the ground. That'll cause your troops to move towards that spot. And nope, hold up. So, during missions, you'll sometimes have bonus missions that you can do. And I will do my very best to complete all of the bonus objectives. It's a ghost town. One Marine. Mm, that doesn't sound good. This is starting to look ugly. Yeah, I agree with that, Rainer. Ooh, that's not good. Surprise! More Marines. So as you know, didn't even get to finish. Marines will do their best to try to get themselves into position to be able to attack. And yet you can't protect yourself from bullets. Bye bye. No, we're doing pretty well, Rainer. I don't know why he's saying this is bad. You can count on me. Why? There's the locals. You'll all be given a meal when you reach the dig site. My brother went off to the mine last week. He disappeared. We got a runner. They're shooting civilians. Move in. No, that's not good. How dare they shoot civilians? Let's blast them. Pop, 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 pump, and they'll shoot the truck. Pop, 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 and down. Ain't that the truth? There's more people still being held up ahead. I'll see to them. You got it. Sounds like a plan. Marshal Rayner. Been a while since we saw you around here. We're with you, Raiders. And there's all the hollow boards. Sounds like a plan. Now it's time to get started. This is a restricted area. Which surgeons are under arrest. We got your back, Rayner. Now the civilians are gonna come in and throw Molotov cocktails at just pretty much everything. I don't know if we blast that. Yeah. Now let's go up to this. Shoot it down, shoot it down, shoot it down, shoot it down. And booyah. We're done. And that's all she wrote. I didn't think we could fight them, but we can. Now you've got the weapons and the resources to do it. Remember, Minx can only control you. Hmm. We still got a good amount of time. So, yeah. I think I'll go ahead and uh, go on to the next mission. In fact, I was originally planning on stopping it here, but yeah, I've got time. Let's go ahead and do the next mission.
I mean, that was a short mission, so it makes sense. Mecca Joy Ray's bar. Joey's Ray bar. Sixty and forty. Seventy thirty. My way. <laughs> Feels like old times already. Old times. Old times indeed. So in between missions, you'll be at this, uh, you'll be sort of in uh in between the area where you can examine a few items um uh, for right now just examine a few items sorry I'm a little stumbling on my words there but um you can talk to people if they have uh if they show up that you can talk to them we'll be able to do more stuff in between this during this in between but for now it's just look at stuff you can also change the music if you want to so let's go look at the news to our own Kate Lockwell on the fringe world of Marsara. Kate? Thanks, Donnie. Rebel Jim Rayner has reappeared in a big way. He's attacked a Dominion Depot near Backwater Station, seizing weapons and distributing them to the local populace. Kate, I bet the locals are pretty nervous about having a notorious outlaw in their neighborhood. Actually, Donnie, the people I talked to seem really encouraged Thanks, by Kate. the... You heard it here first. Jim Rayner terrorizing the locals on Marsara. When we return... Keep talking, pal. I'm just getting started. Hmm. Huh. Call me curious, but how'd you get out? Well, I busted out of my cryo freezer while they were transporting me to New Folsom. Oh, I must have killed at least a dozen guards with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah, I've heard this one before. But you left out the part where you walked on water. Made off with the warden's daughter. Don't you get up buddy with me, boy. I heard all about you becoming a big-time freedom fighter while I was away. What happened, Jimmy? The war for truth and justice get too much for you. No. Sorry, that was my... That was my grandmother. But I'm not gonna talk to her because I'm busy recording. Jimmy. 
Orcs in these parts are ready to fight back against me. Guess they just need a little push. You still take this whole revolution thing pretty serious, then. Everyone needs a hobby, Tigus. Hold on. I will be right back. Just need to take care of this. There we go. We'll learn more about what happens to her later. But let's go ahead and get started on the next mission. Thanks to your actions, Marsara is now in a state of open revolt against Arturus Mace. Ex-convict Tychus Finley has revealed the Dominion came to Marsara to excavate an alien artifact. Seizing the artifact will strike another blow against the Dominion and generate funds from selling it to Finley's mysterious contacts. Well... I hate to do this, especially on the first episode, but I'm going to have to cut the recording here real fast while I go see what the heck my grandmother wants. I'll be right back. And I am back. I am very, very sorry about that. Living with my grandmother can be a real giant pain in my butt. This old outpost don't look like anything special. Keep your shirt on, son. Dominion engineer's been digging out here for months. See that crane? Getting ready to move the artifact they found off world. Well, I'll be damned. See, you gotta have a little more faith, Jimmy. All right, time to give the Dominion a wake up call. Let's smash that face and haul that baby out of there. Seems legit. All right, let's rock and roll. So, we have our first... I don't need the tutorials. Mm. So, now we get to learn about... So we get access to two new units, the SCV and the Medic. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take things a bit slow. So we can get a, so you can get a basic understanding of how base works. So a command center is the hub of your production. This is where all of your materials go and get collected to which includes your minerals and your Vespin gas. You need minerals and Vespin gas to be able to build new buildings and create new units. And you harvest those with SCVs. SCVs are your worker units in the typical, in a typical strategy game. You can have them repair structures or vehicles and build, unit, build buildings. Right now an SCV can only build four buildings, a command center, a refinery, which is Harvest Vespin gas, the supply depot, which does supply, and I'll get to that in a bit, and a barracks. I'm gonna go ahead and build another barracks. Yep. And while they're building that, I'm gonna go over supply. So up here on the top right of your screen is this, there are three numbers. You have minerals, which is how many minerals you have, your Vespin, how much Vespin gas you've collected, and your supply how many troops you currently have deployed in the game. So right now our force can hold can support up to 19 troops and this counts both your military and your workers. What's going on? You can increase your supply by building more supply depots. Go ahead. Bad news. Now something that I've known because I've played a bit of the first StarCraft yeah go away is that the there's now a indicator of how many SCVs it needs. You need to be able to optimize uh, mineral or Vespin collection. Usually, it's three. It's always three, and it'll 
remind you a lot when you need additional supply depots. You can hold down the shift button to queue up multiple buildings. And now we're going to go into the barracks. In the barracks we have two we have two new two units and a tech lab. A tech lab will allow us to construct additional units. I'm just going to go ahead and get that started. Now with a supply depot, you can hit the R button to lower and the R button again to raise it. Raising it provides a uh, block, uh, sort of provides a small barrier and lowering it allows troops to be able to move through. So with that add-on complete, we get access to medics, which are support troops. We can press the Y button to issue a rally point. And let's go ahead and train up a few more Marines and train up two medics. Now this mission can actually be done pretty fast. But I'm taking it a bit slow so you guys can take a so you all can take a moment to enjoy it. Alright, so we have our first medic. Medics do not attack other do not attack enemies, but what they do is they provide a heal. What they'll do is they'll detect when the uh, biological unit, so marines, are injured and they will go up and attempt to heal them with a cost of their energy. So this is sort of a Terran strategy is to ha make sure you have enough medics to be able to heal your forces and be able to keep them prolonged in the fight. So I'm gonna wait for one more medic and then we're gonna go on ahead and get started. All right, we have our force here, and let's get started. Now, throughout the mission, you might come across mineral pallets. If you move any ground unit to them, you'll automatically get a jet, automatically get a hundred minerals. There's also an equivalent for Vespine gas, which will give you a hundred Vespine. This is good if you need to jumpstart your economy. So generally it's a good idea to keep your medics in the back and have your marines out front. So now we have an objective which is to rescue the rebels. Which doesn't take that long. Build a few more Marines. Bad guys are that away. Thank you, man. Go, go, go. Warning. Dominion Hellions approaching. Oh, Dominion Hellions. They're the first vehicle unit. We'll get access to them soon enough. And that's a bunker. We'll talk about those in another mission. Unfortunately, this is the problem is that sometimes the medics just like to get in front of my troops so the enemy will aggro them. Alright, let's start by taking care of the uh... So now that we're here at the base, we're gonna go ahead and get started and clear out the uh... the construction building, so the barracks and that factory. Oh, 
it's a good idea when you're clearing out a base to focus on the production facilities first so the enemy so your opponent cannot spawn any more troops to uh any more units Yep. So I'm just going to leave these guys on auto attack mode and they'll just go ahead and shoot their way through. And like that is all she wrote. Crane controls accessed. Decrypting security overrides. Crane control established. You, now let's reel that sucker in and get out of here. All righty. Well, with that all said and done, I feel like this is a good place to end the game, end the mission, or end this. Uh, end this video so thank you all for enjoying it please leave some feedback uh constructive criticism is always appreciated and i hope to see you all again soon take care and bye bye